There is breaking news now on Fox News Channel. I'm Shepard Smith in New York. Fox News has now confirmed the United States military has launched dozens of Tomahawk missiles on sites in Syria. We got word this afternoon that the President of the United States was considering military action, that senior White House officials had met late last night and into this morning, that the Joint Chiefs of Staff had come together today. <clears throat> Tonight, the President is at Mar a Lago in Florida with the Chinese leader, Xi Jinping. And while he was there and they were seated at the, at the dinner table, the United States launched strikes on Syria. The, the effort here to knock out his ability to carry out the sort of airstrikes and sarin gas bomb that our military says struck on the Syrian people just days ago. Jennifer Griffin with the breaking news now live at the Pentagon. Jennifer? Shepard, we've just learned that the U.S. has launched Tomahawk missiles at two separate air bases in, uh, inside Syria. We understand that both of those uh, locations uh, were used to store chemical weapons. Um, at least one of them, we have the name of one of them, Shariad. Shariad is the name of one of the bases. Uh, we understand that 43 Tomahawk missiles were launched from the USS Porter and USS Ross, both of which are in the eastern Mediterranean. Um, it is our expectation that it will be um, mostly a Tomahawk missile strike tonight. Uh, the order was given from President Trump, uh, who of course is at Mar-a-Lago tonight meeting with the Chinese president. He was briefed by his defense secretary, Jim Mattis, as well as the national security advisor, H.R. McMaster, about uh, the military plans for Syria. We also understand that the uh, Joint Chiefs met in the tank late this afternoon to discuss these war plans. Um, so, as we know now, w within the last few minutes, Tomahawk missiles, about approximately 43, have been fired at at least one base inside Syria. Shepard? The question is, Jennifer, what, what is the objective here? We, kn we know that we've taken these strikes. We know that part of the objective is to stop Syria's ability to launch this sort of strikes on its own people. But it's important to keep in mind that the Russian military is involved here as well. Have the Russians been notified? Well, our understanding is that uh, prior to the launch of these tomahawks, that the Russians would have been given a call on the hotline to Moscow. That is a hotline that has been set up be between the air base uh, from which the, the U.S. conducts air operations in the Middle East. Um, but again, uh, right now it looks as though uh, the U.S. tomahawks have targeted at least one air base, possibly two locations. But there, were, there was talk at some point about uh, sending overwhelming number of uh, tomahawks to multiple locations. It looks as though this is a very limited strike. Uh, a large number of tomahawks, of course, uh, 43, we're told. Uh, but it's not as though uh, they have struck, you know, at, at multiple bases where these Russians would be located. In fact, the fact that they're not using airstrikes uh, means that they did not have to necessarily take out the air defense systems, which are manned by Russians. We know that one of the concerns of Defense Secretary Jim Mattis when he briefed the president was that Russians could die in these, air, in these uh, tomahawk strikes, uh, given the fact that Russians are embedded on these bases with, with the Syrian military. So there's a great deal of concern about the proximity of U.S. forces. There are about 1,000 U.S. forces on the ground in Syria. There's 6,000 U.S. forces on the ground in Iraq, where we just learned last week from the top commander in Iraq that 100,000 Iranian troops are inside Iraq now, fighting very close to where the U.S. is advising the Iraqi army. So the potential for uh, blowback uh, for U.S. troops is very high, and there's a great deal of concern that the Syrian uh, forces uh, and their allies, the Iranians and the Russians who are fighting with them in Syria, uh, could take out, could, uh, could harm U.S. forces, which are also on the ground. So force protection, a very important part of this operation tonight. But it looks like a limited strike, 43 Tomahawk missiles uh, targeting at least one, possibly two sites where chemical weapons were stored about 120 miles from the site of that chemical weapon attack just uh, 72 hours ago. Uh, we understand that these air bases are near the town of Homs in Syria. Shepard? And 